I want to welcome you back to Black Side. Tonight, we're going to talk about the notorious B.I.G.'s daughter, Tayana Wallace, she uses her inheritance to post, post boyfriends $1 million bail. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Daughter of late rapper, the notorious B.I.G. is going viral after using money she inherited from her father to post bail for her boyfriend. Media Takeout has learned that she post, posted her boyfriend's bail on Wednesday to the tune of $1 million. The 26-year-old Tiana dropped the huge bag to scoop her boyfriend Tyshawn Baldwin, with whom she shares an infant daughter from jail. Tyshawn was arrested in a hit and run that injured three people, including a mother and her toddler, according to reports. According to police, Tyshawn fled and took them on a high-speed chase on August 10th during a routine traffic stop in Queens, New York. Police tell media takeout that Tyshawn allegedly slammed into a group of pedestrians. He was arrested six days later after surrendering with his attorney. Media takeout was not able to confirm whether Biggie's daughter paid for his attorney as well. The judge ordered the judge ordered Tyshawn held on one million dollar bond, but he didn't stay in jail for very long. Within minutes, media takeout confirmed that his hip hop hiris girlfriend bailed him out. The paperwork filed in Queen's criminal court shows that Tiana put up her one point five million dollar Brooklyn home to secure her baby daddy's bond. Tiana received that home as inheritance from her father. Here are the details surrounding Tyshawn's alleged hit and run. Police claim they stopped Tyshawn for allegedly parking his 2021 Durango SRT Hellcat in a busy intersection and for having a loud exhaust and dark tinted windows. Media takeout was not able to confirm whether Tyshawn bought the car with his own money or whether Biggie's daughter paid for it also. While Tyshawn initially complained, <clears throat> complied, complained with the officer's instructions, when cops ran his papers, they saw that his license was suspended and ordered him to step out of the car. The police claimed that Tyshawn put the car in drive and took off. According to court records, Biggie's daughter's baby daddy allegedly hit a mother pushing her two-year-old in a stroller and a food delivery man. All three suffered serious injuries. This is what this young lady is using her father's wealth on. A bum. Tiana Wallace receiving this money should be building on that generational wealth. But what she's doing is taking care of a Negro who ain't doing nothing. And see, this is what makes good black men mad. Tiana Wallace has the opportunity, being Notorious Big's daughter, to get any decent man that she wants. She has a pick of the litter because she has an inheritance. But what does she go out and get? She go out and get a street thug, a gangster, pants hanging down his ass. She don't want no decent brother. But five years from now, she'll be talking about there is no good black men. Black men don't know how to act. Black men, you saw the therapist running her damn mouth. Black men this, black men that. But when you have that type of wealth, and you have that type of name behind you, that gives you access to the highest quality of men. But no, you went down and found Tyshawn Baldwin. That's what you like. Like many of these young ladies. You don't want a high value man. See, you want the high value man once all the bums done ran through you. See, when you're 30, 35, and you've been ran through by Tyshawn and his buddies, 
Now you want a high value man. Now you want to complain ain't no good black men. Now you want to be a divester. See? Why is she putting up her home for this bump that she picked? Now she probably going to be on an Angela Yee's show or somebody else's show complaining about how men ain't no good. But you picked them. You got to understand that. You see, this is the biggest problem we have right now. It's called selection. You picked a man. The man didn't work out. So since the man didn't work out, the rest of the men ain't no good. But the good black men who are out there working, studying, doing the right thing, starting a business, he ain't had no swag. You know, you said he was corny. He was lame. But now that you got a couple of kids by Tyshawn, now you want to get on social media talking about ain't no good men. Where the good men at? They not protecting me. How you going to get a good, decent man when you ain't a selected a decent man? You can't come back. Once your body been ran through and asked for the best. Oh, it's not going to be that way. She had the opportunity, but she blew it because this is what she wants. She wants that thug love. Well, she got the thug love now. He done ran over a mother, a toddler. Now you got 1.5 million. If he flee, that's gone. Now you spending everything that your father built on a bum. This don't make no sense right here. This right here is absolutely crazy. You in the music industry, you can be around people who happen to be in a profession, executives, all those different type of people, but you pick Tyshawn. And you got a baby by him. Oh, Lord Jesus. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. You can't make this shit up. Then I got to hear somebody complain all the damn time about black men. Look what her inheritance is going, that her father died in the streets for to make sure she have everything and she giving it up to this damn bum. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Also, share this video.